Today we say goodbye to Budapest. Our friend Hannah's already gone, back on her way to the States. But we've got another country to put on the board today, and another friend to see. safe and sound to Bratislava. That was quite the dismount from the public bus or tram or whatever you want to call it. I only had one hand, so I was trying to like jump from bar to bar to hold on to, and I'm just like flying around because this thing like moves. Like you feel it in your core, you're like, whoa, whoa. So like, I'm just trying to do anything I can to not just like fly into people. Of course and it's full. Of course it's full. And we had to go a decent amount of stops, so. That was the story of getting to Bratislava, but we're here, safe and sound. We'll see how it goes from here. This feels all too familiar. An elevator that looks like an industrial freezer. Inside. Let the adventure in Bratislava begin. We lucked out with another great view from our balcony. We're only here for a couple of days, so this is actually one of the shorter time periods of places we're going to be. But we're excited to explore Slovakia and see what we can find. We also may have a visitor coming in, so more on that later. But for now, we are just going to unpack, kind of settle in, and get ready for a wonderful weekend here in Bratislava with beautiful weather. impressions of Bratislava. It's really cool. <laughs> After settling in, we set out for a walk through Bratislava's wonderfully medieval old town. We made our way towards the Danube River to catch the sunset. During our time here, we've learned how sandstorms from the Sahara can actually affect the color of the sunset all across the continent, often giving it a distinct red color. Bratislava gave us perhaps the sunset of the year so far. Every time we thought we saw the best part, we would look over our shoulder and see the color turning an even deeper red. Next up on the list, a traditional Slovak meal in Bratislava's old town. Our friend Martin traveled all the way down from Prague to meet up with us. We also got to meet his girlfriend Susanna, who just happens to be from Slovakia. 
We could already tell we were in store for a wild night. So to end our traditional Slovak meal, we are going to have a very traditional dessert. This is dumplings prepared with butter and sugar on top, powdered sugar, and poppy seeds, and some chopped nuts. That looks amazing. Look at that. Our next stop was a traditional Borovička bar, a drink we were introduced to at dinner. Before we knew it, Martin and Zuzana joined a guy at the piano, serenading the whole bar with some Slovak hits. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. 